Hello Leo, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekly love reading from the 13th of September, the week of the 13th. How are you guys doing? I hope you are good. Let me just clear this chocolate block before I start and uh, clear the space while we are busy shuffling the cards. I want the herbs to like kind of clear the space of the previous readings that I've done and energies as well, emotions that have been on with the cards on the table and then call in your energy to come in and your spirit guides as well. Um, forgive me, I notice my voice is still a bit funny. It sounds, when I'm talking it sounds like not my voice you know what I mean so please forgive me honestly I think in one of my other tarot readings I did last week somebody literally insulted my voice or my accent or something like that I'm just like whatever Helen whatever and just saying you know who you are but anyway people are so nice eh <laughs> so let's get into this reading I can't help my accent I was born in South Africa I'm South African this is how we sound so let's get into this it's going to be a love reading thank you for listening to me ranting um it's going to be a love reading we're going to check the energy out of um you and your person whoever they may be remember because it is a general reading if I'm saying this is your person and this is you you can reverse that as well but let's get into it let's get your person's energy out here ace of pentacles and the moon card um okay this is a very interesting energy with this moon card as well it says confront um this is uh pisces energy as well there's something about this moon card we've got to go a little bit deeper in here they i feel like this is somebody you're connecting with Possibly somebody new because of the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, strengthening bonds. I feel like you're getting to know each other, but there's something they're not telling you. Yeah, I want to see what that is. Let's see in your energy. I feel like there's something they're not telling you. Yeah, this is a new beginning. It's a new person. You got your trust card, which is the full energy. I felt like this is a new connection with the Ace of Pentacles being there. Um, you're trusting them. But remember, there is this moon card between these two energies here. There's something here that you're going to find out about. Let's see. Tower card has rocked up here as well. Um, this could be an X that you're getting back together with because of the tower card being here. But these are two major, because it does say rebuild. These are two major arcanas as well. Um, meaning that this person's really affecting your world. Okay, I feel like you're going, if it's, if it's not an ex person, I feel like if there's a feeling from you that what comes from these cards here is that you are, this person, you getting together with them is going to change your life. It's like you could, if you were single, for instance, you know, you know how we are. I'm single. So I know I'm like, I live my single life. I'm doing my thing. You know what I mean? And then you meet somebody and then all of a sudden, your whole life changes and that's the energy of the tower it means that uh, meeting this person or the situation that has now come into your life is changing almost like the trajectory of your life's direction you see so i want to see now let's look here but i feel like there's something they're not telling you i can't i can't shake this feeling let's have a look into the ace of pentacles there and see what's going on there and then into the moon card then we're going to go into yours as well and look what spirit guide will show us yep death card has come in here they want to start something with you even if this like it's strong that's a possibility this can be an x eh? because of the death card and the tower card being there look how many major arcanas you got in your reading as well the death card is also scorpio's energy um they feeling pretty much the same way you feeling so they know even meeting you um this is changing their world as well there's a lot of nice vibes coming through what's going on guys with the romance these days my goodness this week mm. I don't know what's happening, but it's good. Um, with the death card coming in here as well, I feel like they do feel there's a new beginning between you and them. And this is also changing their world as well, as much as you feel like it's changing yours. I want to see this. Seven of Wands. Mm -mm. Seven of Wands. Something is catching them off guard. What is this? There's something catching them off guard because the Seven of Wands is in the reverse position. Spirit Guides... We go a digging. <laughs> Let's go digging. Let's show us more. What is catching them off guard here? What are they not telling? What are they not telling my Leo? That's what I want to know. What are they keeping quiet? There's something that they're not saying or they're not doing. And it's something that they, they worried about with the seven of wands. Oh, my goodness. Why is there a three of swords, people? No. <clears throat> If this is an X, okay, there is a possibility 
that you guys broke up because there was someone else. Okay, I don't think you know that. If you know it, you don't have evidence of it. And I feel like um, they're not telling you. They may just be denying. They may be saying, no, there was never anyone else. There was never anyone else. But that's what they're keeping from you. My goodness, I don't like readings like this, actually. Um, if this is a new person, why is there the Three of Swords there? If this is a new person, why is there the Three of Swords? Spirit guides, we're digging a little bit deeper in here. I want to know. Why is there the Three of Swords if this is a new person? Uh, guys, uh, there's a possibility. you got Gemini's energy coming in here with the Lovers card. There's a possibility they're still talking to somebody else. I don't like this. Um, there is the Lovers card coming up. I'm asking why is the Three of Swords there? And they show the Lovers card. There's a possibility they're also connecting to somebody else here. Let me go a bit deeper. Show me something else, Spirit Guide, please. What, is, what, what the heck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, what the heck is going on here? Can you just go a little bit deeper for us, please, for my Leos out there? What is going on? The Fool card. They, they're coming towards you, but I feel like they still haven't detached from somebody. And that's why the Moon card is there. You both got the Fool card. I feel like they have not detached. And I keep looking and look under the deck. Two of Cups. Yeah. I can't, this is the second time I've seen the Two of Cups, eh? Um, earlier on when I was busy shuffling, I moved the deck and I saw the Two of Cups in the reverse position when I saw the Three of Swords and I was like, oh no. And I shuffle again, I get the Fool and then I look and again the Two of Cups is under the deck. It, I can't shuffle and then they come, it comes the Two of Cups again. I feel like, honestly, this person's talking to somebody else or they're still connecting to somebody else that you do not know about. So they could be talking to you but there's somebody that I feel like it could be their ex or somebody that they connected to before you or when they were not with you. Or it could have even been the reason why you guys broke up if it's an ex person. They haven't yet broken this connection off with this person. <sighs> I don't like uh, picking up on tarot readings like this. It's not. But the thing is, this is what's coming up in the reading and I can't. How am I going to change what I'm seeing here? I can't because it's what I'm seeing. Let's see on your side here. Let's go deeper. King of Materials, you want stability with this person and you want that new beginning. You want this as much as they do. Um, they do come in here, but I feel like they haven't released somebody. There's somebody that they're talking to. I want to find out. i got to ask. I'm just going to go back to this energy here. You'll thank me. Um, how serious is this? I feel like they're connecting to somebody from their past. And they haven't told you, is this just a friendship that they have with this person? Or is there something going on here? Spirit, you better put out the right card so that we can understand quite clearly what is going on here. Is this a romantic connection or are they just still friends with somebody? But they don't want you to know that. My goodness, guys. I feel like they it's a friendship level. Hierophant does indicate wisdom. Okay, so we are looking at somebody who's, it's wise energy. It's not, um, you know, like silly or not being intelligent or doing something that you shouldn't do. Wise energy comes through with the Hierophant being there, which is also Taurus's energy as well. Okay, so I feel if you guys had a breakup before, um, the, there could have been somebody else. If you know about it or you don't know about it, I feel like they're still connecting or communicating with this person. But I don't feel like it's um relationship. Okay. Now, if this is a new person, I think what they don't tell you is that they're still in communication with an ex because of the lover's card being there. Even though they want to be with you, I feel like they're not telling you that they're still friends or they still talk to an ex. Okay, <sighs> goodness me. Let's get some advice you guys out here. We're going to have a look at an outcome here as well. I don't know how I like that. You know, I feel like it's not wise, you know what I mean, to do such things. But anyway, um, the way the world is these days, anything goes. Seven of Pentacles, you want stability with them. Look at that. King of Materials, 
king, a seven of pentacles. The pentacles and materials is the same energy. So it's wanting to have that stability and the love. But I don't know how you're going to deal if they are still somehow connected to the ex. It could be because maybe they have a child with this person. Um, that can be also maybe what they're keeping from you. So if they haven't told you, look, I've actually got an ex that I have a child with. It could be something that they reveal to you. There could be a reason why they have to keep connecting to this person. That's why I said child. Um, maybe it could be work-related or their friends. It could be... Um, the person that they were with or connecting to is still connected to their family or to their friends. So they still have to sometimes meet up or see this person and the situations. They are using wisdom though to deal with this. Okay, so I want to get an outcome here for you guys. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like you will like this idea. I don't like the idea. You know what I mean? Who would like the idea? That's like why? I mean, I always believe when you cut cut your losses, you leave somebody, you leave. You don't leave little doors open. You know what I'm saying? Even though it may be innocent, I just don't feel it's, um, I don't know, maybe it works for some people. It does, actually. I know people who have actually even been able to work with the like divorce partners and run a business together, even though they're divorced and they're all with other people. And it works long term. <laughs> it does happen though, but it's very, very rare. So let's see outcome here. I think you guys will be okay, hey? I think you guys will be okay. Very interesting. You got a two of cups here. That two of cups is coming together. I feel you guys will still be okay. But I feel like they're not telling you something. But I don't feel like it's going to be the ending of your guys' connection. I want to get what does Spirit Guide advise you to do about this? Okay, I just don't think you'll like it, obviously, but you know what I mean. But let's have a look and see. What will Spirit Guide advise you to actually uh, do here? I'm so curious. Look at things in a different perspective. Really? Wow, I don't know how I would handle this, hey? I'm not sure. Maybe it's why I'm single. I don't handle stuff. And um, the sun card in the reverse position does indicate growth. It still indicates moving forward. It still indicates positivity. It still indicates this growing and becoming something. You might have to change your perspective on something here. I mean, especially if this is an ex-person and there's a child involved. I mean, there is no way they cannot connect with each other. Um... <laughs> I just kind of like feel like I pick up that they're kind of like friends now. But there's, I did feel like there's no like romance. There used to be, but not now. They are using wisdom. So you might have to trust this person as you move forward. Um, excuse me, guys. I do just feel that um, they should like let you know. It's not something that they should keep secret. They should be open about it. Rather be open and explain, look, this is why I work with this person still. Or this person is friends with my sister or my brother. So there's nothing I can actually do. Sometimes my brother will come and there they come along. My sister will come to a family gathering and there they are. Or they come and visit my mom's house, you know, whatever. And there's a connection that they sometimes have to kind of like communicate with each other or be around each other. But I feel like they're using wisdom. All the cards that come out here are very, very positive for you guys. But just know there is something that they're keeping from you here. But I feel like your this energy here is just unbelievably strong. And I feel like even there's with the death card and the ace of pentacles being there um, with the wisdom card. And then there's this two of cups with the sun. It's very positive energy. Um, just I feel like maybe uh they may tell you about something like this or they may be keeping it from you but i do honestly feel like it's something that can be worked through there's an energy of them being friends and not being more than that so let's hold them for you summons for you guys but there we go thank you so much for coming into the reading i'm wishing you all the best as you move forward please hit the thumbs up button subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll know when readings come out coming out twice a week so if you you'll have content that comes in um what else if you want a personal reading with me as well you can reach out to me through my email which is in the description box of the video thank you so much for watching guys sending my love to you bye